hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in this video we'll cover problem zero path and that was from round eight zero one right so let's get started so in the problem we have been given a grid of size n comma m that is made up of all ones and minus ones so the grid is something like this and it is made up of all ones and minus ones one minus one 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 minus one one minus one something like this and we have to tell if there is a path starting from one comma one there is a path starting from one comma one such that it ends at n comma m it ends at n comma m and sum of the path is equal to zero so sum of the path is equal to zero such that the path starts from one comma one and ends at n comma m so how can we do this uh, first of all you can uh, first of all you can see that uh, the number of ones should be equal to the number of minus ones on the path right the number of ones number of ones should be equal to the number of minus ones that uh, that says that the length of the path should be even right that tells that length of the path length of the path should be equal to even and you can e easily see that the, the length of the path will be n plus m minus 1. So n, of n plus m minus 1 should be equal to even. Right? So that is the very first check that you need to do. Length of the path should be even. So n plus m minus 1 should be equal to even. So that should, should be your first observation. Now let's move on to the second observation. Second observation is that possible values possible values at a point or a cell possible values at a cell is equal to Manhattan gap of that cell Manhattan gap of that cell so what I mean by that is so if you draw a grid parity should be it should be parity parity of possible values that a cell is equal to Manhattan gap of that cell. So for example, if you take a cell one comma two, Manhattan gap of this cell is odd, right? Manhattan gap of this cell is odd. So if you see the number of possible values that, that we can have here, we can have one plus one plus one, that is equal to three. Similarly, we can have one plus one minus one, that is equal to one. Similarly, we can have minus one. Similarly, similarly we can have minus three. So we can only have odd values at the, the following cell we can only have odd values here right we can only have odd values at one comma two similarly if you check one comma three values here can be one plus one plus one that is four similarly one plus one plus one minus one that is equal to two similarly zero similarly minus similarly four so we can only have even we can only have even values at one comma three so that is the very first observation that you need to have that a single cell can only have a single parity of values, right? It it cannot have both even values and both odd odd odd, odd values, right? So your one comma two will have odd values. Similarly, your your one comma three will have your one comma three will have even values. Similarly, one comma four will again have odd values. So that is the very first observation. So uh, the third observation will be the third observation will be that possible values possible values at a cell are always contiguous are always contiguous what i mean by that is for example uh, let's say cell 1 comma 3 the possible values here are minus 4 minus 2 0 2 and 4 so the observation three says uh, that if you are able to form let's say minus two and if you are able to form four then you will also be able to form zero and two right so the observation says if you are able to form some value l if you're able to form some value l and if you are able to form some value r then you will also be uh, then you will also be able to form all the possible values in in between l and r that is if you are able to form l and you are able to form r then you will also be able to form l plus two L plus four, so until R minus two, right? So that is the observation. So how can we show this? Or uh, so to show this, let's say our minimum path. Let's say our minimum path. 
uh, whose value is equal to L is something like R R R D D D. Similarly, uh, let's say our maximum path whose value is equal to R is equal to R D D R D R. Here R is equal to right move and D is equal to your down move, right? So let's think about this DR column. We will try to go from max path to min path, right? We will try to make some swaps and try to go from max path to min path. And we will show that all the all the values from R to L will be covered in, right? So if you are, uh, let's think about this DR column, right? So it will be something like this. Let's say here is some plus one here, plus one here, right? And here is a down move and here is a right move. And if we swap this, it will now become something like this. It will become RD. So it will become RD and it will become RD and DR. So there are three possible cases here. First of all, here is a plus one and here is a minus one. If that is the case, if that is the case and we make, make the swap, the value of R will go from if value of this is equal to R, then value of this will be equal to we remove a one and add a minus one. So it will become equal to R minus two. Similarly, if there is a minus one here and there is a plus one here, the value will become equal to R plus two. Similarly, if there is a minus one here and there is a minus one here, the value will remain equal to R. Similarly, if there is a plus one here and there is a plus one here, the value will still remain equal to R. So if we make a swap, so if my, uh, it is something like this, R, D, D, R, D, what was it? D, R. If value of this is equal to R, then I can make three possible swaps here, D, R. The, the, the value here can go, go up to R plus two, R minus two, or remain R. So we can again make some swaps, right? And soon we will reach the value L. And soon we will reach the value L from R. And as you can see here, all the value values are contiguous. Either there's a zero, either there's a minus two, or either, either there, there is an addition of two. So all the values are contiguous. So if you start from L and make some swaps to reach up to L, that is R, 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 D, 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 all the possible values from L to R, that is there will be L plus two here, L plus four, maybe again L plus two, maybe again L plus four. Similarly, you will soon reach R. So all the values from L to R will be visited. So all the, all the values from L to R, that is L plus two, L plus four, L plus two, L plus four, L plus two, L plus four, up to R minus two will be used. So these three obs obs observations are enough to solve the problem, right? So observation one plus uh, observation one plus uh, n plus m minus one we will be even. Observation two was parity of possible values at a cell is equal to Manhattan gap of that cell. And observation three was all the possible values if like uh, if at a cell L is being visited and R is being visited, then all the values in between L and R we will also be possible, right? So these three observations are enough. So how can you solve this now? So you can now think about the solution. So what a solution? Uh, you can uh, you can for every 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 cell keep track of two values. That is minimum of ij and maximum of maximum of ij. Right. And if here if here is your cell uh, i comma j minus one, sorry, it will be i minus one comma j, i minus one comma j and i comma. and i comma j minus one then your minimum of ij is your cell ij will be equal to minimum of min of i j minus one plus your value here let's call it value equal to x so it will be x or minimum of uh, i minus one comma j plus x Similarly, your max will be equal to i comma j and you can do the same same thing for max, right? And in the end, just check if your maximum of n comma m is greater than or equal to zero and your minimum of 
n comma m is less than equal to zero. That is zero is included between the possible values, right? So that will be a solution of the problem. So if you want to see the code for this, also like if you are not able to see this observation, if you are not able to see observ observation three, right? Uh, you can always write a brute force. So if you see I root brute force here, where is it? Uh, so as you can see here, uh, I wrote a brute force and you can say all the possibilities that, that is minus one is being wasted, one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, minus two, zero, two, four, six, eight. So you can easily see that the values are contagious, right? So I think that was enough to get the observation. So if you see here, minus one, minus one, one, three, five, seven, nine, all the values are contagious. So if you root, uh, so if you wrote a brute force, it was more than enough to get the observation, right? And if you want to see the code for this, here is the code. Uh, I kept a, it is my matrix, right? And then there is a minimum vector, there is a maximum vector, and then you can like just see the transitions that I showed you, like on the on the drawing pad, right? Minimum of i j is equal to minimum of minimum of i comma j minus one plus the value here, and minimum of i minus one j and the value here, right? So similarly, for you can do the same thing for max. And in the end, if your minimum of n minus one, m minus one is less than or equal to zero, and your max is greater than or equal to zero, then zero is being wasted here, and it is okay, right? Also, here's the condition that n plus m minus one should be equal to even, otherwise the answer is false. So I hope the solution was clear enough. And if you guys have a doubt, do ask me in the comments, and I will be happy to help you out. Also, if you guys don't know, Continue Newton School is offering a full stack development course. The course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything. There is zero hidden fees, there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs. So it is a very great opportunity. Also, all their mentors are from top MNCs like Google, Flipkart, Zomato, etc. Also, they will get you placed into the top MNCs as well, like Google, Flipkart, Zomato. Uh, so, uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourselves. Also, you don't need to worry if you guys think that I don't coding, I don't fresh, I don't The course is over six months long and they will teach you from scratch. So you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field, this is a very, uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for. And if you uh, want to land a job, I highly, uh, I highly vouch for this. And uh, if you guys want to sign up, there will be a link down below and you can go and sign up from there. So yeah, be sure to sign up for this and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.